guys, you know, helping each other and um, a lot of fun in the gym. Where's Josh at right now in terms of his fitness, the, the way he's playing, mindset, all that stuff? Yeah, no, Josh has been working hard and um, he, uh, he had a good day just along with everyone else. Like I said, it just in the gym today, there was great energy um, and, and, and everyone getting after it pretty good. Jason, to what extent are you guys trying to model uh, the way that you'll play after the way that the Grizzlies are trying to play this season? Um, very much so. Uh, that is something Coach Jenkins and I have, have talked. Uh, we've had great communication throughout the offseason and then and then leading up, I've been in all of their meetings um, and, and been a part of all of the Grizzly stuff so far. Um, so yeah, Coach Jenkins and I um, have communicated everything we want to do and, and the organization as a whole is is all on the same page with what we're doing. But we will we will do a lot of the same stuff as, as the Grizzlies are trying to do. How much does it help then to have guys like uh, Yuda and John and, and some of the guys who spent at least a day or two with the Grizzlies kind of to help instill to the rest of the team, you know, yeah. what you got to do. Yeah, no, we have a uh, we have quite a few guys that spent a little bit of time at least with uh, with the Grizzlies, so they've seen the style that we want to do, um, that we want to play. Uh, as far as just plays and that kind of th those kind of things, everything is pretty much the same. Um, so just the terminology, I think, is the biggest thing, just sticking and and starting to to pick up. What do you hope to see out of Rainier? Um. You know, he, he has a he has a great basketball body. Um, I, I would like to see physicality from him, and and um, he really picks things up uh, at a at a great at a great great pace. So um, we, we're throwing a lot of things at these guys. We don't have a lot of you know we don't have preseason games. We don't have a lot of time before we play our first game. So him and the rest of the guys just picking things up as quick as possible. But he in general, um, since that's who you asked about, he's done a great job with that so far. For the, is, it, is it exciting for you as a coach to have somebody of Josh's talent to kind of work with and maybe shape a little bit here? Absolutely. Um, I think any coach would answer that question as a yes. Uh, you always want talent on the floor. Um, he, he's, uh, he's a great talent, and he's, like I said, he's, he's really worked hard for us along with, uh, along with the rest of this group. Uh, for the tryout guys, uh, you know, who uh, were at the Hustle tryouts, obviously, uh, Christian Brothers and then South Haven, is it a little bit different for them, given that some of these guys, you know, haven't played organized basketball recently? Do you have to do more to accommodate, maybe? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, these guys, you know, for instance, Jamal made the made the squad from an open tryout. He played professional basketball in Mexico. Um, so, I mean, all of these guys have played. Now, they, they may be a little rusty um, from some things, which I haven't really seen much uh, rust off these guys. But, um, but no, I think, you know, as far as just organized basketball, they get it. They know how to play. Um, it's just a matter of, it's a more of a conditioning thing. Uh, but not just for the open tryout guys, really for everyone. Did you announce your staff last week? You just talked about what they bring to the table. You were excited about having them on board. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, thank you for asking that. My, uh, I'm really excited for, with the staff that we, we have in place. Uh, Brett and Alex were obviously here. Um, in the past and uh, worked with great, really good head coaches and um, they provide a lot of experience on our staff. And then also we added Michael Joyner and uh, Squeaky Johnson. Mike played um, in the D League at the time, uh, actually played for Coach Jenkins as, as did Squeaky. And two guys that have really just been been around the game and, and the league and, and know just how it works. So. Um, just their experience to pass on to these guys and, and be a part of. I love I love the energy that our staff brings and on the court, and I think we're gonna we're gonna really have a, a fun time with our, our group, just building our relationships um, with our with our whole, whole group. Players tend to get labeled maybe a shooter, an athlete, whatever it is. How much at this level is it about for these guys proving that they're more than whatever their individual label might be? Yeah, um, one of the things that we talked about is, you know, I, I do feel like we've got a, a lot of shooters. I feel like we, we're gonna we're gonna score the ball. I mean, there's gonna be nights where it doesn't fall, I understand. But I feel like we do have a, a pretty good offensive team. The one thing that I'm challenging those type of guys with is uh, we we have to get stops. Like, you know, we want to be a, a very physical defense, uh, defensive team. And so those things, I'll, I'll continue to challenge them. Um, Obviously, like I said, we do have a short period of time to get things in, so we are we will have a major focus on, on getting some sets in, but that will be a challenge for our whole team, um, just becoming a defensive uh, juggernaut in, in, night in and night out. Josh is maybe on the other side of that equation a little bit with you know, needing to work on the shot, but having some defensive skills, what have you seen from him? 
Um, I see a lot of the athleticism. Um, I see a lot of length. And I see a guy who's working his tail off right now. And I don't think you could ask for much more from, from him or the, the rest of our group. Everyone has really been putting in a lot of work. And um, we, like I said, it was, a, it was a great day, a lot of energy in the gym today. Uh, I'm very excited that he was he's with us today, he, he and John, uh, getting assigned to us. Um, he experienced, he has experience, he played. Um, he played a ton of games in the offseason um, as well. So you can tell he's very comfortable with his game and what he's trying to do. Um, he seems very in control of his body. And um, I really like the ball in his hands um, from what I've seen so far. Um, as a playmaker, so I'm, I'm excited to see different things that we can stretch with our offense that we can do with him on the floor. As we start back in this, how exciting is it for you personally to be back in the area and now this kind of is the culmination of your return here and getting back into action? Yeah, I, I couldn't be happier to be here. Um, Coach Jenkins, the organization, for allowing me this opportunity to be back in, in, uh, in the city that is, is really home for myself and my family. Um, couldn't be happier um, to be here. And then obviously the, the group of guys that has been put together uh, by the organization to have a chance to coach. Um, very excited to, to get to work with this group of guys. Like I said, I mean, I see nothing but hard work coming from these guys. I think um, for fans that come out to the Lander Center and see us play, I think you're gonna see a team that plays extremely hard, that competes at a high level, and plays together every single night. And I, I couldn't be happier with the group that we have. Is there ever a thought from a coaching standpoint, especially with a development type mindset, does that ever conflict with absolute winning at 100%? You have to sometimes do things differently because you're developing guys? I, I, don't, think, I don't think you do. Um, development is a huge, huge priority for us. Obviously, everyone knows that. Um, we will spend a lot of time, just like the Grizzlies do, um, with, with the question that was asked earlier. We're going to mirror a lot of the things that they do with our guys in development. Um, but with all of that, we will go out every night trying to win. Um, that will be our, our goal. We will go out every night trying to compete at a very high level and playing together. So uh, yeah, I, I, development will, will be a huge priority for sure.